Now at 5 a.m. on WKYT This Morning, police say a man was shot overnight in Lexington when a person caught him breaking into an apartment. We'll have the latest on the investigation as a lot of questions are at that scene coming up in a live report. More disturbing details emerging about a Knox County daycare at the center of an abuse case. And a business in Lincoln County is still burning this morning, 11 hours after the fire started. Fire investigators say that they'll be back at J&J &J Pallet at daybreak. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning to you. Also, a deadly train derailment reported this hour near Philadelphia. We'll have the details as they come in on that. We're glad you're with us as we start off this Wednesday. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. You will need a little bit of a light sweater or coat this morning because it's a little chilly. It I wasn't is. prepared for that, uh, even though Micah's been preparing <laughs> us for these cooler temperatures. But it's going to be nice later today, Micah. Oh, yeah. It'll be really nice. If you enjoyed yesterday, you're going to be enjoying today. They're, like I said yesterday, there are carbon copies of each other except for the morning hours. Now, as we slide off into the afternoon, no rain this morning, no rain this afternoon. Temperatures 40s and 50s outside central, northern zones, including Lexington, Frankfort, Georgetown, Williamstown, and go up toward Covington. You guys might need that light sweater or a light coat. It's pushing those kids out the door to go off to school. Down south, not so much. 70 degrees this afternoon, still very nice, but it does get warmer, and warmer means one thing. Some rain's on the way, and I'll show you when you can expect that coming up. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Thank you. Well, we are going first to this morning to that developing story out of Pennsylvania. We've learned overnight that at least five people died in a horrific train crash. Dozens of people have also been injured there. The train was headed from Washington, D.C. to New York City last night when it derailed. It was carrying 243 people at the time. The National Transportation Safety Board is coming out this morning to investigate at the crash scene. And coming up in our next half hour, we will have a full report on what the Philadelphia mayor is calling an absolute disastrous mess this morning. On a commute that I'm sure a lot of people in the Northeast Corridor take. Oh, yeah, it's a very, very busy there between yeah. New York City and, and Washington. Mm. Well, back home new this morning, a man is awaiting charges at UK Hospital after being shot. Police say the man broke into an apartment on Winburn Drive in Lexington when a person inside shot him. WKYT's Mark Barber is live from UK Hospital with the latest on the investigation into it. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Bill. We've learned from police that a woman who lived inside that apartment shot the burglar twice after he broke inside her home. Now, police tell us that that burglar tried to break through a back door to get inside that apartment around midnight there on Winburn Drive. Police tell us that two women inside the apartment were awake, and one of them fired at the man, hitting him twice. The burglar was taken to UK hospital with non life threatening injuries. We're told he was shot once in the leg. According to officers, the shooting happened while two children were asleep in the apartment. Police say they don't think the people who lived there were mixed up in anything criminal. So investigators tell us they are still trying to figure out why the man targeted the apartment. Police say when he's released, he will most likely be charged with burglary. Live in Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you very much. And new this morning, a woman is accused of exploiting a person that she was hired to care for. Lexington police say Marie Janov racked up $5,000 on the victim's credit card. They say the privately paid caregiver then exchanged items she had bought for cash at pawn shops. Janov is charged with exploitation of an adult. Well, we have learned more details about a fire in Lincoln County that heavily damaged a decades old business near Eubank. Crews spent nearly nine hours at JJ Pallet trying to put out the flames. WKWT's Victor Puente is at our live desk with more on what we've learned overnight. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Rebecca. The deputy fire chief tells us that fire is still burning. At this point, there isn't much they can do, but they will be back out there this morning. The fire started around 6 p.m. Tuesday. The J and J Pallet, multiple fire departments from Lincoln and Pulaski County, helped fight the fire well into the morning. They did call in the Division of Forestry to bring out a bulldozer to push everything that was on fire closer together. They said because all of that, because of all that lumber, there wasn't much they could do other than let it burn. People living nearby say the flames were hundreds of feet into the air. One of the former owners of the business said it was difficult to watch it burn. It makes your heart ache. All my kids growing up, when I thought it was going to get the house, I really got upset. Firefighters tell us one issue they had was getting water to the fire. 
There are no hydrants nearby, so they had to haul water to the scene in tanker trucks from Eubank. They aren't sure which part of the building it started in. Now, Lincoln County's fire chief tells us fire investigators are still trying to find the cause. So far, they don't know how it started. Kentucky State Police will be assisting with that investigation. At the live desk, Victor Puente, WKYT. All right, Victor, thank you. We'll keep an eye on that one. And state investigators say they have made some disturbing finds at a Knox County daycare that is at the center of an abuse case. Last week, Tracy Four, the owner of Rainbows and Lollipops Learning Academy, entered an offered plea for a misdemeanor abuse charge. She was sentenced to probation. Investigators say she sat on a two year old last month. Both police and the child's family are upset because the case was resolved so quickly. State inspectors now say they were looking into the daycare before the abuse case. They claim four punished children for not cleaning up toys by not letting them eat. And staff members claim there often was not enough food. Inspectors also claim the same two-year-old from the abuse case was found with a soiled diaper and clothing and had raw skin because of it. Well, this morning we are tracking the search for a Laurel County man who has not been seen in nearly a month. The Laurel County Sheriff's Office issued a golden alert for 69 year old Earl Turley. Deputies say he hasn't been seen since April 15th, but they say his wife did not report him missing until last night. Deputies say Turley's wife told them he's gone away like this before, but has always returned home. They say he has some medical conditions. Deputies think he is driving a 2011 silver Toyota Camry. Laurel County deputies have arrested a man who they say broke into a building and stole a lot of items, and yes, it does include the kitchen sink. 24-year-old Jared Malicote is charged with burglary. Deputies say he broke into an outbuilding on south of London and stole multiple items, such as a wheelbarrow and a pressure washer and a kitchen sink. They say they found the items when they went to Malicote's home. They found those things just sitting in plain sight. They say Malicote also admitted some items were stashed under his trailer. Everything and the kitchen sink. Well, if you have been sneezing or coughing lately, maybe a lot like Micah has, you are not alone. Some doctors are telling us this is the worst spring allergy season they, they have seen in years. For some folks, allergies are so bad that they thought something else was making them sick. Doctors say most of it thanks to the severe weather we've had, especially heavy rains in April, which created a lot of mold. Doctors tell us allergy symptoms should die down once the summer days heat up. Let's hope that relief comes soon. And thanks to that severe weather we mentioned, the president has declared a federal disaster for Kentucky for the third time this year. This time, it's for the winter storm that brought heavy snow during the first week of March. The declaration means that federal assistance will now be available for folks who had property damage during the storm. The president made similar de declarations for winter storms in February and for flooding last month. So it seems like, Bill, it went from one thing to the other, but <laughs> yeah. now we are finally in that nice dry spot for the most part. I mean, part. If you really, if you think about it, it was pretty tough back there just a few weeks ago, you know, and so... Uh, yeah, you know, but now it's, especially over the next couple of days, it's going to be so nice, a little bit cooler, so yeah, some relief from really the enjoy heat. enjoy it. All right, our time this morning is eight minutes after five. Let's check traffic and see what is happening out on the roads today. Here's a look at the interstate as we look at I-64 and I-75 at the northern split. Everything is moving along fine in that area. do want to update you on a situation in Scott County. Uh, th there's some paving work that's going on there on Kentucky 1874 on Miners Branch Road. That's through the end of June. Traffic will be allowed through the work zone in that location for you Scott County commuters. And traffic uh, flowing pretty well on I-75 now in Madison County as they're beginning to get into the latter stages, it looks like, of all that repaving they've been doing. WKYT this morning, just getting started. Hey, it's nice to have you along with us here on this Wednesday. If you've ever wanted your face on a bag of chips, <laughs> Lay's Potato Chips, unveiling a new promotion to make that dream a reality. Yeah, now's your chance. And also, Domino's Pizza is about to unroll a new online ordering feature. And all you have to do is use 140 characters. We'll tell you more about that coming up in some consumer news. Temperatures look pretty good this morning, still on this chilly side, though. And as we go throughout the day, things look really, really nice. Nice weather the next couple of days. I'll show you that forecast coming up.